Hello everyone uh, and welcome to our tips and tricks on how to classify non-engineering data. We choose this topic as recently we received many questions about um, how to classify different content and what type of content we support in the Novia classification. So the answer is that today, as you can see in the slide, you can classify almost any 3D experience platform object type. We can classify engineering items, which are the most common assets companies classify, but you can also classify documents, projects, issues, risks, changes, and many other item types which, uh, which exist in 3D space. So let's see now some examples and uh, um, using some different methods how to classify content using Inovia classification. Um, here I'm looking at uh, all my documents using the Inovia document management application and I would like to classify a couple of documents in the company policy class. To do that, I would add first to the same tab in my dashboard the IP um, classify and reuse application. Um, I would navigate through the library structure, expand it and select the desired class. Uh, then, very easily, I can drag and drop the document from my document list into the content view of the class. Uh, the document is now classified. Um, please note that regardless of the type of item I'm classifying, I'm using always libraries and classes of type general. Another way to classify items is, um, is using the search results. I'm selecting the desired class in the IP classify and reuse application. And in this example, I'm searching using the global search for some change actions. And same as before, I can easily drag and drop change actions from the search results into the selected class. Uh, here you can see that uh, I also have the capability um, to multi-select. Um, another way is to use the add existing command and um, then use the search uh, from the IP classify and reuse application. Here I search for issues, for example, and um, select, um, select them and uh, add them or classify them into the selected class. Now um, let's use risks to show you another, another method. Um, but uh, you should note that uh, compared to the previous methods, uh, I've just showed you, this one is currently applicable only to risks. Uh, so we allow to classify risks in libraries, including uh, setting the values for the classification attributes, if exist, directly within the risk management widget. Uh, to do that, we have a dedicated tab called classification, as you can see here, available, uh, which is available in the information panel of the risk. Um, and from here, you can select the desired class. You can expand, navigate, and select the class. And if classification attributes exist, you can also see them here. And, um, and at the same time, you can set the value. Uh, and all of this directly from, the, um, from, from this application without going and without opening any other application. So to conclude, I used various methods to classify various type of items. Uh, and those were just examples, but as mentioned previously, you can classify in Inovia classification uh, most of the 3D experience platform object types. So thank you for watching. I really hope you find it uh, valuable to you and see you next time. Bye bye.